Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel Card Tricks and today I want to teach you a really simple find a card that you can do with two spectators. Now you know what a find a card is, right? Find a card is just when you fan the cards towards the spectator, they pick one, right? They return it, you give the deck a shuffle, and then you're able to find their card. Well, sometimes you can do this with two people. That way you don't do a trick for one person and then this person has to wait. And then they say, now do me, now do me you can do two people at the same time. And here's how you do it. Uh, first thing you gotta do is you gotta divide your deck in half completely, reds and blacks, okay? So stick all your reds together and stick all your blacks together. So now the deck is in what we call a stack. It's a very simple stack. Reds are in one section, blacks are in the other section. And you'd come out and you'd say, okay, I wanna do a card trick with both of you. Is that okay? I'll do a trick with you and you. Let me just uh, cut the deck to about half. I think that's about half right there. And uh, I'll have each one of you select a card, okay? So with this first person, they're gonna get all the reds, okay? So I would just fan the reds toward them and they can select any card they want. They're gonna select this card right here, okay? And as I turn to this person, I'm gonna take this half and kind of hop it over this. So I'm gonna come over here like this and then pick this up. So now this is facing them, even though this deck was originally theirs. And I'm gonna take the second half, fan it towards this person, and they take this card, okay? So they're taking the six of clubs. Then, as this person's ready to return their card, I don't even put this down. I just come back over and have them put their card in this pile. So see what they're doing? They're putting a red card in the middle of a bunch of blacks. Okay, and I take this and I say, let me just lose it really quick, make sure it's completely lost. Okay, of course that did nothing, right? I pick up this half and I say, return your half, return your card, and they return it. And now it's a black card going into a bunch of reds. I can mix it like that. That did nothing. And I put the two halves together. And that of course doesn't disturb anything right? Doesn't disturb anything. And so now I can just tip the cards like this and I can go through and I can say, I see one red card in the middle of a bunch of blacks. So that's the four of hearts. And now I'm in the red cards and I see one black card in all the reds and that's the six. And I say, I think, I think I was able to find both. Can you tell me what your cards were? They tell you, and then you reveal. And then that is the easiest find a card you can do with two people. And it's all because you separated reds and blacks. And the reality is your deck is still separated, right? Nothing, nothing changed. So you could literally put these cards back, put the deck back together again, and it's ready to go for two more people, just like that. It's so simple, anybody could do it. Um, try it uh, with two people at dinner. Right, you go out to dinner with someone, and they're a, they're a couple. It's your aunt and uncle, your mom and dad. Do it with them, uh, and they'll be they'll be amazed that you're able to find their card. And I I would just add, okay, when you when you break it in half, okay, and they return their card, please do an overhand shuffle like that for them after they return their card. You don't want them to think that you um, controlled their card, okay? So when they return their card to you like that. You say, let's just give it a quick shuffle, right? Because obviously you're not looking at the cards and they have no idea that it's all reds, right? They, and they wouldn't think that. There's no reason why they would think that. They're not even thinking about stuff like that. So you just give it a quick shuffle like that and then put it back down like, you know, that, that was enough. I'm not even going to go back to that. Now I'm going to go to this person, right? And they return their card and then you do the same thing. Give it a quick shuffle and then put the two halves back together again, okay? That's also key. Put the two halves back together again as if you have to do this with the, the whole deck. And now you're gonna use the whole deck to find those two cards. It's, it'll, it'll, it'll be great. And uh, you'll have a lot of, you'll have, have a lot of wows and how'd you did that? <laughs> so uh, if you didn't follow it completely this first time, of course, go back and watch it a second time and I'm sure you'll get it. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow. And I will see you guys next week, bye. 
Hey, have you ever purchased a magic trick that they said was easy or for beginners? And when you opened it up, it was just a bunch of parts and some typed out instructions. Like, how are you supposed to figure out how to do a trick with instructions that are this small and there's just no detail, right? No video, no pictures. You're so disappointed. You wanted to learn how to do this trick. You thought it'd be fun. And then when you got it in the mail, you were sorely disappointed. I want to help you. This channel wants to help you. I have a whole playlist of instructional videos that'll walk you through my personal handling on these tricks plus many more. Now, obviously, you need to own the tricks, right? You need to own the tricks in order to perform them. You won't be able to do any of these tricks unless you actually own them. But another great way to use this channel is as a way to look at tricks that are available on the market and to decide whether those tricks are going to work for you. I purchase all of my tricks from penguinmagic.com. And so if you'd like access to that playlist, if you would like to see kind of behind the scenes and get my personal handling for these tricks plus many more, you can hit the join button down below and subscribe to this channel for only 99 cents a month. And as long as you're a subscriber, you'll have access to those videos plus any new ones I continue to make. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.